Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, in today's video, we are going to look at sponsorship and company changing catalog. Most of you have talked about changing companies. Yes, we do change companies. Most of you, your messages have been absconded by your employer. You've been rejected, but you don't know the reasons why you are being rejected. Why is your application being rejected? Why is your employer, why is your former employer rejecting your move to a new company? Because some of the applications for some people here in Qatar are taking so, so long. And some people are so lucky that the applications do very fast. It's changing and everything done very fast. Then what about you, the person who is not approved up to now? Remember, there are some reasons why the company may reject or why the employer may try to block your changing company from one company to another. So we are going to look at some of the few reasons for you to understand exactly. Are you falling in this category? Are you among what we are talking about? Then if that is the case, then you can try to see how definitely you can try to improve or you can try to, to, try to make those arrangements of those details such that you are not being rejected by your employer. One of them, we look at what you call the non-competing clause. Remember, when we are looking about, when we're talking about what you call the non-competing clause, in most of the companies, companies who do not want to do, to see a person moving to the same company, to another company that is doing the same line of business. For example, if you are doing security and you're moving to another security company, most of these employers, once realizing that, they will tentatively tend to block you. They will tentatively tend to reject all the messages that is being sent by the Ministry of Labor. Why? Because you are moving to what you call a competing company. Alright? And that competing company in the same, or what you call in the same line of business, they might, your employer might be scared that you may be she or you may share part of what the information from this company to another company. So he may tentatively tend to reject you out. So that's why he may continuously continue to abscond or continuously tend to block you in one way or the other. Then something else you need to understand, something you need to understand still is the employer may, the new employer may not be willing to, to pay up what you call the training costs. What are these training costs or what are these induction courses, induction costs that we're talking about? Remember, some of you maybe go to some companies and you're given what you call in training. And that training maybe might have required some amount of money the company spent on you. But remember, when the company spent on you, it is not yet, or you've not even completed the contract you have to sign with that company and you want to exit or you want to resign. So what this employer will do is going to is going to advise that new company about the charges that you have to pay. And even if, if this new employer also is not willing to pay these charges, then the employer will be absconding your messages or will be absconding the messages sent by the Minister of Labor and will continue to block you in one or the other. So meaning that your application will continue to be blocked unless that clause that is that clause that is deterring you to move to new company is agreed upon by the new employer. So, which is something very, very actually very important in one way or the other. Then something that we need to, to, to understand also that originally some employers also need to understand what did you write in your email to in your application to the new company. This is what normally happens with some of the companies. For example, if you, you, you wrote an application letter to a new company asking for job, yes, yes, I'm so and so, bra bra, I mean, why uh, uh, I'm, I'm leaving my old company because of this and this, because of this and this. Yes, that is why sometimes it's not very good to say bye on your company before you, you shift to a new company. Reserve whatever you're going to say. 
either in the application, either in the resignation, reserve. Say all the good things. Say only the good things. Because one of the only one of the way for this old employer to block you, he will request the new employer. Please, can you send a copy of the application letter from this employee such that I can try to verify it out? Why is he requesting that letter being emailed to him or to her? He's not requesting the letter because he needs to read through or he needs to, to know that you know how to write and erase. He needs to say, he needs to see what did you comment about his company. Then if you commented negatively at that time before even you change it, then he's going to abscond. He's going to abscond every single message that is being sent by the Minister of Labor to let you go. He's going to deter you from moving this to, to, to the new company. That is what normally happens. So before you begin looking at changing company, you are chasing you want to change company. Yes, we are changing this a good company. But also consider these factors that are being given to you as very important because it is one of the points that your old employer is going to base himself to see that you cannot prosper or go to another new company. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time coming across this channel, please consider supporting this channel and subscribing to this channel. Remember, we are looking at the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.